Good morning Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and it's great to have you back. For those of you who are returning, for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive and visionary tarot reader and today we're going to take a look at what messages want to come through regarding your February 2022. Uh, do keep in mind Capricorn these readings are for entertainment only meaning it's not a personal read so you may find that the messages may or may not resonate for you if you do enjoy the messages that are coming through then by all means feel free to hit that like button share and subscribe where you can catch more of my content coming through every week every day I am uploading so um yeah, something just to just to be aware of, just to know. We are going to kick off with an animal spirit card. This will be the overall energy of the month. This is also how you're showing through for the month of February of 2022. And you've got the dragon spirit here. What I really love about the dragon spirit Capricorn is that there's a beautiful patience and wisdom coming through the dragon okay so February for you may require you to be patient and observant okay there is a patience here um, the the dragon too also possesses a beautiful I want to say a powerful energy. So I feel February for you is going to be powerful. You might receive powerful insights. Your words of wisdom may come across as very powerful to others. Or there could be someone here, I'm getting like an elder someone like a grandparent, someone that you really revere and respect or look up to. There might be some powerful wisdom coming through this individual. I see respect here. So Capricorn, I see you being respected, uh, respected in the workplace respected in your relationships, respected and being respectful is what I get here. I also get with the dragon, the dragon knows when the right time is to make itself seen or make itself known. So there's a silent power moving through you in February and you are just going to kind of like fly under the radar. I, I'm getting a quietness coming through with this dragon and when the time is right you will show up, you will present yourself, you'll present your case, you'll present what you have to say this could be in regards to a work position, just quietly observing what's out there, waiting for the right time to strike, kind of. Strike probably is a lack of a better word, but you know what I mean. So we'll grab some tarot cards now and we shall see what other messages want to come through for you regarding your February of 2022. If you would like to work with me Capricorn, all those details will be in the show more section below. Thank you for always showing up for your support, the likes, shares, subscribes, the donations, no matter how big or small. I want you to know that it's all appreciated. Oh, okay. We've got jumping cards. I'm just going to make sure that these are in clear view. I might just move that along a little. Okay, because we want them all in view. 
One more card for our Capricorns for February. We have the Three of Wands reversed. So the cards that are showing up, you've got the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse. I'm just going to put my glasses on, guys. I feel with the Five of Pentacles here and the Dragon energy, Five of Pentacles speaks to a lack, a void, something, you know, lacking here. So how I'm reading these two energies is it's better left unsaid. The Dragon doesn't need to interact with people or circumstances that are beneath him. And I feel with the Five of Pentacles, there could be someone around you that's taking on an approach that is based on negativity like pulling you in using negative methods or negative approach so for example there could be someone here giving you the silent treatment there could be someone here that is pushing you away purposefully pushing you away to try and get a reaction from you but the dragon doesn't react to the five of pentacles he is observing this or witnessing this, but he doesn't interact with it because he knows it's a waste of time or it's a waste of energy. He isn't going to use up his resources for someone who chooses to shut him out or look the other way or reject him. And I feel there is someone here using this method with you. Or it could feel like it's a situation at work where you're feeling like you're shunted or you're pushed to the side and maybe more work is given to the other colleagues but you. And you're looking at this situation thinking, you know what? I deserve more than this. I have so much skill, experience, understanding with the dragon to be in this environment. I deserve more. You could be looking for some kind of an upgrade with the experience and the skill that you have. The Five of Pentacles tells me that you're not getting paid enough for what or who you are, for your position, for the role that you have undertaken. You may be looking at your situation thinking, I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get paid enough for my expertise and what I bring to the table. You may also know with the dragon and the five of pentacles that February might be a month where you need to pull in with your money. Okay, it could be a time to just be mindful of where your expenses are going. Okay, but I feel like you're going to be more scrupulous than ever, especially in the first week of February. Okay. You have the Queen of Cups here in reverse. There's someone in your environment or this could be you. You could be feeling sort of emotionally drained. There could be a situation here that is making you feel drained emotionally. Is draining you of your resources, of everything that you have within you. 
You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Queen of Cups could also be a motherly energy. If you are a, a mother figure, I see you kind of feeling depleted in that department when it comes to your children or your family. The dragon is asking for you to reserve yourself in some way because you are depleted, you are washed out, you're emotionally spent. So you need to pull back or reserve your energy in some way. Now remember, the dragon is wise. So you will know when you need to pull back from overgiving or being overly supportive. Because I feel in February, mostly in the second week of Feb, you won't have support to offer because you are spent, you are exhausted. This cup is facing down. All the contents in that chalice are spilt out, leaving you feeling maybe moody, irritable, tired, emotional. So the dragon here is asking you to allow yourself some time, some moments where you go and rest and you nurture yourself and you be kind to yourself. Because the Queen of Cups, she's given so much of herself that she's forgotten to also leave a little room for herself at the end of the day. Okay. Moving along, you have the Knight of Wands here. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel this Knight of Wands is an inaction card. So particularly in the middle of February here, I see you maybe just retreating and taking some time for rest. The Knight of Wands is, is saying here, in especially in this position, Capricorn, that it really isn't a time to take action on the things that you are planning you may have projects here, you may have plans, you may have visions. Um, this is creative inspiration as well, but it's not a time to action them. It's not a time. It's maybe a time to go within and make plans. So when it is the right time to take action, you've already got the action steps laid out and you can follow this plan. You can follow this method. There may also be someone here that you are attracted to that withdraws from you. Or this person here may have shown you that they were interested or attracted in you and they've, they're have they kind of like retracting that energy because something else has got their focus right now. Something bigger has uh, taken their attention away right now. So they it could feel like they have withdrawn their energy. For others of you, you're being asked to withdraw your energy. If There may be some things here that you have uh, started in your life that you may have just put on the back burner or you know that you must put on the back burner for now. Remember, the dragon is wise enough to know that this isn't the right time to push on with this energy or with these plans, or with these visions, or with your passions. 
It could be just because you're exhausted, maybe family or your loved ones are taking your attention. So it's like your priority is shifting from one thing to another. And now it's really a time to look after yourself. Even with the three of wands in reverse, wands are action cards. And these three wands are reversed. So it really isn't a month for making progress, external progress. All the progress that's taking place could be within you because those wands are pointing, facing towards you, a pointing in, a pointing down. So the progress that is taking place is within you. It could be uh, in February here that you are gaining more insight or more wisdom through your current experience or through a current situation that is maybe here with the Five of Pentacles less desirable. It's like you would rather not have had to deal with this, but this Five of Pentacles is bringing you an experience. And through experience, we learn, we grow. And I feel like this is what's happening here. The growth that is taking place is happening inside of you. Also to, I want you to know that there might not be external progress taking place or you might not be making, um, you might not be productive as much as you would like in February. But I want you to know that you can still be productive even when you're resting. Okay, uh, I don't see travel being uh, favorable for you. If you're planning on traveling, I don't see that being favorable for you. Or if you had plans to travel, I feel with the three of wands in reverse that those plans will be delayed. The dragon is not in flight. The dragon is resting right now. So you may just halt travel plans. Let's see what extra message is coming through for you, Capricorn, from Musing the Muse Tarot. Okay, I'll take the Five of Emotions. Really interesting because you've got the Five of Pentacles here as well. Just make sure that's in clear view. One more card. Okay, I'll take the one that we see and that's the Queen of Inspiration. Lovely. You are experiencing here some kind of loss with the five of emotions. Okay, you're losing or it feels like you're losing out on something. I feel here that you could possibly be holding on to something here. I see a woman, she's holding a moon. She's trying to keep it close to her chest. She's resisting letting go. You could be resisting letting go of some negative emotions or some sadness. You could be holding on to some sadness or you could be holding on to some kind of a grudge here with the five of emotions. But I'm seeing all of this ice and it's kind of reminding me of, you know, that movie Frozen and the words, let it go. I feel it's time for you to let it go. With the Queen of Inspiration here, you could in February feel inspired or empowered to finally let go of something that you were holding on to. Because I feel holding on to these emotions were blocking you or really stopping you from living life to the fullest. Or 
not even living life to the fullest, but being in those in in gratitude, in thankfulness. You know, the five of emotions isn't the ten of emotions, and we want you at the ten of emotions. We can't be in the five of emotions and be grateful and thankful. It just can't happen. You can't simultaneously feel grief or loss and be grateful and thankful at the same time. Or you cannot simultaneously feel resentful and feel gratitude at the same time. It just cannot happen. So it's time that you let something go here because all you are doing is you are limiting yourself from possibly, with the Queen of Inspiration, living life to the fullest. Now, the Queen of Inspiration, she lives life to the fullest, She's fierce, she's courageous, she's strong. And I feel that strength is coming through the Queen of Inspiration. Strength is coming through. The power is coming through you to finally let something go here, Capricorn. I'm seeing all these pyramids in the Queen of Inspiration too. So there's this need for elevation. Uh, you may decide to do some maybe past life regression. I don't know why I'm getting past life with these pyramids, but it's kind of taking me back to the ancient civilization. So there's past life energy here that you may need to let go of or just do some past life regression work. You could be carrying some stuff into the current, I guess, life. In You, you could be carrying stuff with you right now that comes from your past life. But the queen of inspiration, she's a queen. She, she lives and loves fully. There is a sense here that you finally need to let go of what you're holding on to so you can empower others. This is very powerful energy here, Capricorn. These two cards, very, very powerful there's also an inspiration coming through. So you might be inspiring people without even knowing that you're inspiring others. I see you being ambitious as well, no longer holding yourself back. There's an ambition and there's a drive coming through you. But this is a time to collect inspiration or ideas Remember, the Knight of Wands, this is not a month to maybe take action. This Queen of Inspiration is bigger than you. So it, it's almost swallowing you or taking you in whole. Uh, you may be coming through more attractive or glowing up as a result of this purge. People are noticing you. People are drawn to you. There is a light. There is a shine. There is a glow coming through here. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion coming through you in February. There's also creativity or 
allowing your creative light to shine, allowing yourself to shine, allowing yourself to be seen. No more hiding, Capricorn. Yeah, no more hiding. No more five of emotions holding you back. What's done is done. Whatever happened in the past happened in the past. We're in the present now. The queen of inspiration, she is living in the present moment. She's excited now. She's excited for what's to come. So I want you with the queen of inspiration here, she's got her eyes closed. I want you to close your eyes, Capricorn. And I want you to visualize you living your best life. What does that look like for you? Where are you? What can you smell? Who are you with? How do you feel? What can you hear when you close your eyes? What can you hear? Is it the sound of trickling water from a waterfall? Is it the waves of the ocean crashing on the shoreline? What are you doing? Now I want you to open your eyes Capricorn and I want you to work towards that because the queen of inspiration, she's entitled. To go after her dreams, she has the courage to go after her dreams. So there we have it, Capricorn. They're your messages. I hope this was helpful, insightful in some way. And until next time, guys, take it easy and I'll talk to you soon.